What's going on, Squash? Your boy Joe over here, Black Rod 223. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, we are talking about the Mantis Black Beard. Bro, if you haven't checked this thing out, stay tuned. Let's get in it. You're killing the other intros. There's room for you to learn and to grow. Step up your info. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Put up a pistol. It's Black Rod 223. This is the intro. If you guys liking and subscribing to the channel, man. We are back and we are kicking in full effect. So today we are talking about the Blackbeard Mantis. All right, so what do you get with the Blackbeard, right? The Blackbeard is designed to help you improve your skills when it comes to your AR platform work. Uh, just trying to stay consistent without wasting ammo. We all know, baby, 556, 223 is about 56, 65 cents a round. This is a way to kind of improve your skill set without blowing the bank, to be honest with you, because I can shoot 30 rounds like that. And that's, whew. Let's not even do the math anymore. Anyways, so what comes in the Blackbeard is just a simple kit, right? You got your boat carrier group, basically, copy of that, similar to that. But it's a built-in integrated laser that goes along with the magazine. And with the magazine, what the magazine does is it connects the two to each other. And as you're pulling the trigger, it's an automatic reset. And it gives you a marker point to every single time you pull that shot where it goes so now you can kind of fine-tune your shooting you can fine-tune your dot or whatever you're using when it comes to your rifle you can kind of line everything up because you can put this in single action mode or you can put this in steady uh beam that way you can kind of rotate back and forth either the sight and in or working on your shots that's the best combination of the game so let me show you how simple this is to kind of get started when it comes to getting yourself into it right so Bring my one of my favorite rifles. I would bring on the other one because that one's actually a piston, so it wouldn't work with the piston action rifle. So simple as this, right? Again, firearm not loaded. Use purposes. All right. So pop out your back end. Let that open up. Take out your bow carrier group and your charging handle. This another one come out today. Put that to the side. Drop in the built-in together. Boop. Go ahead and bring that back down. Pop your pin back in. Load your magazine. This is not real ammo you for YouTube purposes. Just like that. You're going to hear that sound. That means they're connected. And as simple as that, you can work on getting your shots up. So as you can tell from the point of view, if I pull the trigger once, take out the safety, you can see the laser constantly going out of the range. So I can see where my hits are going consistently when moving back and forth with my whole setup. So again, this is going to save me ammo, but at the same time, give me the same skill set to be able to operate my shots or build my shots up. It got to be more consistent. At long ranges, I think I've probably tried this laser out to a solid 85 yards and I can still see uh, it hit, which felt good. So I know, okay. Even from that distance, I can kind of zero in my rifle. If I want to do it out to 100 yards, it'll stay consistent. If I want to do 50, which works perfectly for me. Because, again, these are my versions of home defense rifles. So I'm not trying to go no more than like 25, 50 yards with any of my setups because I don't need to. If I want to go long range, I got a long range rifle. So I can do a whole different things with that. So overall, my experience with the Mantis, uh, I, I love it. If you guys haven't seen my uh, Mantis Elite 10 review, that was amazing, but this is even better because, again, this gives me an opportunity to run my rifle overall, get my reps in, and it responds just as I need it to. It doesn't hinder, hinder the safety, so I want to practice safety on, safety off, to kind of make sure, yes, I'm left-handed. So you can still see that I use my index finger, my trigger finger for my safety. It doesn't hinder me at all, but it doesn't interfere with locking that out. So I still have the opportunity because it's resetting the trigger every time, so you can see. So every single time I pull that, I don't have an issue with using the Mantis. And, and honestly, man, I feel like it's making me a better overall rifle shooter when it comes to it because I can kind of get to what I want when I want to. And I can see I can take this in my backyard, line up several different targets, and I can move around and get my shot off. But overall, man, if you haven't in your lifetime tried the Mantis Beard, black beard for your rifle, you are missing out. If you haven't, please, again, on a daily basis, bro, 
my Instagram page is down below, BlackRons223, where you can see more content or more consistency of me using these items on my daily training. Or if I'm just kind of getting work in the middle of the night when everybody's asleep, you're going to see that there. I'm not going to post that here because every time I do it, they flag it. Ah, but stay tuned, man. It's your boy, JV, BlackRons223. If you love me, tap in. Let's get it.